Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are talking about Game Maker. Now Game Maker is one of those commercial game matches, it's been around for a very long time, used to make a number of quite successful games, we'll get a quick overview of Game Maker itself, and then we're going to jump into some new news. This actually makes Game Maker kind of much nicer to work with, and I'll show you this new code editor that has just been added, but first again, Game Maker itself. So Game Maker was bought by uh, Opera, the browser company, and it's made a lot of changes to how Game Maker actually works. Now this is a, um, again, a complete game editing environment, it's got a visual program programming language as well as GML, their own uh, game maker language. Uh, and that is part of what we were talking about today. Like I said earlier on, it has been used to create a number of games, very successful games like Undertale, Hyper Light Drifter, and so on, Hotline Miami, Forager, definitely a game engine that has some pedigree behind it. And one of the major things that happens with Opera taking it over is they've changed the licensing structure of it quite a bit as well. Uh, you can use it completely free in a non-commercial capacity, compatibility, capability. Blah, blah. Uh, so you'll notice here, non-commercial games you can uh, create using it. You can also create GX export games. So this is for the Opera browser. Uh, you can export out for the desktop, web, and mobile. If you want to have a commercial license, you have to upgrade to a professional one-time fee of $100 US, or you get into Enterprise if you want to have console support, more or less. So that is the new pricing structure of Game Maker. It kind of just makes it more accessible and appealing to everybody. You can actually get full access to the entirety of the tools to do your development work for free. And you only actually basically have to pay once you're going to start selling your game, and you only have to pay quite a bit if you're going to be selling your game on consoles. So that's a quick overview view of Game Maker itself. And the reason why we're talking about it today is this. So Beta 3 was just released, and the cool new feature here is the code editor. A couple of other things happen in this change as well, but the biggest one here is this new code editor. So do keep in mind, if you want to check this out today, you're going to have to download the beta version. It's available for Windows, Mac, and Ubuntu Linux right now if you want to go ahead and check it out, or you can just see what I'm going to show you. So here we are. This is Game Maker. This is the beta version of it. And right now, if you want to edit code, it's a little bit on the sloppy side. So we got this guy right here. We can edit the object, and we go down, and we got a variety of different... Um, code editors we could come here. So you say you're, if you're dealing with stepping or key down, this is the code that will execute. So this here is the existing uh, editor structure in the way that um, you work with Game Maker right now. But what you can do is come in here, go to File, Preferences, scroll on down here to Code Editor 2 and turn that one on and apply it. And now you'll notice it actually boots you out of your existing thing. Uh, I don't know if that'll still be the same behavior in beta. So let's open this guy back up. So here is our level. Now we've zoomed back in on our character with the code attached. And you can notice you got all the code available over here. So let's go to the create code on this guy. And this is now going to open up in the new editor. And there's a couple of things you're going to notice here with the new editor. First off, everything is in one spot. None of this switching between code for each control. Uh, you see up here, create, begin step, Alarm. So basically, it now works like every single other code editor ever invented, ever. Uh, and I think that is a good thing. It's one of those things that was uh, very confusing with the old layout. So now it's all been consolidated into one area. It makes it very much easier to navigate between uh, different code um, requirements and just your code in general. Uh, again, you can jump inside of the the certain step that you're in over here. Um, yeah, so that's kind of neat. Again, you also have uh, code folding, like so. Uh, they have, they call these rainbow braces, but basically you'll notice here, uh, an outer brace is blue, an inner brace is red, so it's color-coded based off the level of indentation of the uh, braces themselves. And then you'll also notice over here, you have this code map. Now, what's nice about it is it does have a zoom element, so you can actually read the code uh, that is at the element you are at, which is a nice new feature. And then on top of that, you can also have it show the diagnostics. So if there are errors, you can actually have them highlight within the mini-map over here. Uh, so that is a nice, neat new feature as well. So that is it. There's this new code editor available here. Now what is frustrating, you can't drag and drop things off like so, uh, which is a little irritating, but what you can do is right click and I can say detach workspace. And then now that code editor is basically a standalone window. So I could go ahead and snap it to the right here and we'll put Game Maker on the left, or obviously if you were using multiple monitors, you can move it off into an individual monitor and so on. That is a very nice feature. Uh, I do appreciate that. Now I do know, I wonder if it's smart. Yeah, okay, so it's smart enough to know here, if I navigate over here, it will move it over here as well. So that is the brand new um, code editor. Uh, it's going to basically make 
Uh, the coding experience inside a game maker, basically the same as everywhere else, uh, which is nice. Again, quick navigation functionality over here. You got your code mapping over there. You have a number of settings for this guy available. Uh, so you come up here once again, back to your preferences. You go down to code editor 2.0. You're gonna see a lot of various different options here. So um, the padding, uh, show line numbers or not, how to show the, uh, the, the map on the side, uh, which you can also, I believe, turn it off if you wish. Uh, various different settings available there. And then as I mentioned earlier on, you can actually have it show uh, the debugging details down over here. You can also turn off the rainbow brackets if you don't like it. Uh, that is an option available down here as well. So that is the new editor. There's a couple of other things. Uh, so there it is. So you can show diagnostics on the scroll bar on the one hand side. Uh, so yeah, that is it. So once again, brand new code editor, uh, new navigation of the way you work with your code and so on. I do think it's an improvement. I am curious to hear what you actually think of Game Maker in general and of this new addition to it. Again, this only works in the, uh, the current beta. So uh, we're at this right here. Again, do keep in mind, this is a beta release. So you're gonna have to wait for uh, the next update to come out if you're wanting to get this guy and not be in beta or go ahead and download the beta. I will have that linked in the linked article down below. Uh, there are a couple of other features in that beta again, but I do think the new code editor is by far uh, the biggest new addition. Uh, so yeah, that is it in uh, beta three of 2024.400. Game Maker just got a brand new code editor. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.